ladies and gentlemen, it's a great fight card. We have eight fights on the card in total, four title fights and two world titles. And ladies and gentlemen, at the top of the bill, 12 rounds for the IBF Welterweight Championship of the World. We are live at the Wells Fargo Center. Believe it or not, there has never been a boxing event here until now. And we're expecting the largest crowd for a fight the IBF Welterweight Championship of the World. On the line, Sean Booth Ennis and David Avanesia. Yeah, I'm ready, man. I can't wait, man. It's, it's a blessing to be able to fight here. I'm ready to put on the show, look good doing it, beat him up, break him down, and get the stoppage in the night. This is, again, a good fight, good chance for me. I give everything. David Avanesian, in my mind, remains a top 10 welterweight. This is a guy with four losses on his resume, but he does not turn down fight. When he got the call for this fight, he only had three and a half, four weeks to train. He took it, and he's ready to go on fight night. I feel great, you know, I'm ready. Ready to rock and roll, put on a beautiful show. Look good doing it. Let's get it. <laughs> Don't miss. <laughs> Make sure y'all tune in tonight. I'm glad that, you know, that we, we, used to, we the first one going to be putting on a, a beautiful block, boxing display here. You know what I mean? And, and this, this is probably going down in history because he, he'd be the first to fight here. We're all confident, man. It's a uh, massive, massive bill. And uh, we're all expecting a big performance from David. Nothing phases him, like you say. So, uh, yeah, really up for it we are as a team. And we're going to give everything we've got. It's been a very long time. And we, I feel like we've been needing another good fight to come back to Philadelphia. Ah, damn, you're like the president of his mother. Hey, come on, man. You better not be drinking them. Come on, man. All right. All right. Hey, you know, you we are moments away from the big night we've all been waiting for this. How are you feeling? Uh, I'm feeling great. I'm ready to rock and roll, put on a show, put on a cool show. And my friends and family, you know, it's time. It works time. We just left uh, David's locker room where he said tonight is the big test for you. Do you view this as a test for yourself? Yeah. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I'm going to put on a show, have my fun. You know, make, make it as easy as work as possible. It's the goal. So be smart, sharp, patient, rip him up, break him down. Show. We're excited. Good luck tonight. <laughs> Me too. Appreciate it. You're about to witness Philadelphia's own pound-for-pound star, Jerome Boot Zenis. Everything's set for him. The first ever show in Wells Fargo. This place is going to erupt. It's going to be a great fight while it lasts. They expect a special one from Boots. Main event is coming up next. The homecoming of Boots Ennis against David Avanesian. Main event, uh, Boots by Slaughter, under three rounds. Philly in the house, baby. You already know what time it is. Man, I got Boots knocking him out, man, probably in the fourth round. I think the main event going to be a massacre. I think Boots going to destroy this dude and uh, make easy work of him. Ennis is seven. Knockout on seven. Ennis. East came for the knockout. I yeah. said five. Yeah. Six, seven rounds either. Main event predictions I got uh, Ennis by like round seven, eight. Seven, eight. Boots Ennis. How do you rate him right now, and what's his ceiling? And he, he's clearly the number one guy at welterweight. Uh, as far as the ceiling, I don't think he has one. The reason why I say that, he's full of talent, full of all of the attributes that's needed to become who he is right now. And I think it's only a matter of time before he continues to just move up and conquer this world of boxing. There's no ceiling. He creates his own ceiling. It's up to him whether he fails. Nobody else is going to take him down. <laughs> Stage is 
set. So promoter set the table. Now it's time for Boots to eat. Avanesian is a bit of a slow starter, and Terrence Crawford was able to take advantage of that. Sharp jab by Boots Ennis right there. Was that an off-balance shot, or did that hurt David Avanesian? Oh, the power jab. He landed perfectly down the middle, and Boots fighting out the orthodox stance. You know, Avanesian has a decent overhand right, and that's a shot that Boots has been hit with a few times in the past, so he's got to be willing to let that hand go. Yeah, that's the one shot that Avanesian uh, can land. It's in between the shots. He has to punch with Boots, which is dangerous, but it'll be a looping overhand right. Oh! Oh, a low blow oh. from Boots. He caught him as clean as a whistle. My word! That could be a problem. Low blow! You know, Boots is contending that, yes, it was a low blow, but it was low because Avedisian dipped down and got into the line of fire of that shot. How much, how much lower can you go for a low blow? Time in! All right, so Avedisian back in the fight. Credit to the referee for not hurrying Avedisian. A lot of referees do that. They, they pressure fighters to get up after a painful low blow. Okuma's head down! Okuma's head down! He touched the body, bro. He touched the body. He touched the body. Go on, Jake. Slide away, slide away. Good body work there from Boots. Push his head down. He's in. He's off. He's off. Yeah, he's off. Yeah. Yo, Boots. Use your jab and go to the body coach. Don't go so far down. Just grip here over this side. Try to catch him in between the shots, though. When he's throwing, because he's throwing, he's jumping in. Catch him jumping in. When you get close, you just got to let your hands go. Yeah. You just got to let your hands go. Deep breath. So here we are in round two. The first round marred by that low blow. Kind of took the wind out of the sails of this crowd, too. Let's see if Ennis can get that energy level back up. Roy Villa in his last fight. And Villa is a good puncher. He was basically a punching bag in that fight. Good. Right now, when you think of a punching bag, yeah. this is shot. Avanisi landed a right in there, but it was pretty much the boot show for about 10 seconds. It's good. Nice and tight. He's looking, he's looking for the touching underneath the elbow. You've got to get them elbows down. Sit down on your shot. Get them elbows in. Yeah. This is good, mate. Keep working. Keep grinding away. Even here, his arm cutting through the yeah through there. Mixes. He's going anywhere, there is he? There. Oh, oh. Fuck me, he's quick. Those body shots so good. Stay tight. Here you go. His body, his body shots are oh, impressive. There you go. There you go. With torque, not falling off balance. He's a brilliant boxer, just a, a brilliant boxer to watch. Stay smart, Booth. He's looking to try to get low. He's talking to you. You've got to row and throw with him, yeah? Good defense, Booth. 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 Good Yo, you gotta watch him come in the counter. You can hit with dumb stuff. Yeah. Right. Dabi, yeah. you wanna continue? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Round five here from the Wells Fargo Center. Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, normally the home of the 76ers. And the Philadelphia Flyers as Avanesian lands a right hand. Hey, Avanesian looking really good here in this round so far. Best round of the fight for him. He is caught. He's getting a little too comfortable against the rope, pulling back with his chin up. Chin as well. Seven, All the attributes eight. that he's blessed with, he can also take a punch. He got okay. hit and he came back and got a better shot, knocking down Avanesian. It, it's called made the fight. <laughs> That's called. The crowd sensing something's about to happen big. They're all on their feet. Boots letting his hands go. I'm honestly surprised that Avanesian hasn't taken a knee from these body shots. They are just Thumping body shots. He's like an old tough piece of leather is Avanesian. So Avanesian ah! goes down, but will make it to see the six. He's cheating, look, look, look. Yeah, look, look, look. And they've stopped it in the corner. Enough is enough. And Jared Boots Ennis has stopped David Avanesian. 
in his return to Philadelphia. Declaring your winner by TKO, he's still undefeated, and still the IBF welterweight champion of the world, Jerome Boots Ellis. It didn't look like you were all that happy with that performance. Uh, I felt good. I felt off a little bit. I didn't think I was going to ring rust because I'd be in the gym 24-7, but I, feel, I did feel a little off. But that's okay, you know, I got the job done. Well, the world of boxing better be very, very afraid because that was Boots Ennis one year out, dismantling a world-class fighter with ease in there, having fun, doing what he does. Oh, you caught him. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for my team, for you, for everybody. Best team, best team, man. I was telling my brother, I said, bro, like, that running the show, so, like, for him, for that fight to fall out, he'd be like, yeah, me and my good co man. I appreciate that, for that, man. That should be crazy exposure. Appreciate you, bro. You already look good. Fight, Hell of a performance, bro. <laughs> that was you off, brother. Yeah, bro. Oh, I don't know why I wasn't there. Y'all think I was gonna be cool? I mean, I was cool, but like, I don't know. Yeah, stand there too much. Body shots, doubling your shots. Like, oh, oh, oh. I like it, bro.